all the shop time happening on farms right now, today's a great time to focus on grease. With a few of the basics, here's this week's Iron Talk. First of all, what is grease made of? Grease is largely made of oil. The oil serves as the primary lubricant in the grease in most situations. For this reason, grease is really not just grease. There can be a tremendous difference between the oils and types of oils used in making different types of grease. Now, in addition to oil, there are thickeners and additives. The thickeners act much like a sponge does with water. Thickeners in grease hold oil and then release it as pressure dictates that lubrication is needed. In storage, it's very common to see some of the oil come out of the solution in the grease and settle at the top. This is normal, and it really shows some of the same activity the grease will undergo as it's in use. The thickeners can also pull the oil back in to some degree as the machine they're lubricating is cooling down and not in use. The proper storage and use of grease is something that seems basic, but there are a couple of guidelines you should follow to get the most out of your grease and ultimately out of your equipment. First, with storage, grease tubes should be kept upright and off the floor. This helps maintain a consistent temperature and also keeps oils from bleeding out of the grease. Bulk grease should be kept in well-marked original containers and protected from contamination. Second, the way you use the grease is really important. The grease on the outside of the zerk is designed to keep dirt and contamination out. So it is a good idea to leave a little bit of grease on the outside of the zerk. However, cleaning that zerk off before adding more grease is important too. Also, the grease gun needs to be cleaned so that no dirt is introduced in the greasing process. Overgreasing is another common problem and certainly something we're all prone to do. For this, we'd simply recommend following the manufacturer's recommendations to avoid problems. Grease seems like a boring topic, but it certainly is a necessary thing for farm equipment. However, following these tips could help you get more out of the grease you're using and longer life out of your equipment as well. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.